Hey, what's up? I'm Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I'll be showing you how to create some nice atmospheric particles in your scene using Adobe After Effects. This is actually inspired by another tutorial that I did on how to create an eclipse. My scene contains some atmospheric smoke, which I did a tutorial for, and also some nice particles in the background to add some more movement into our scene. So that's what we're going to see today. We're going to be using CC Particle World, so no external plugins will be used for this tutorial. So without further ado, let's jump into Adobe After Effects and get started. in Adobe After Effects and today I will be talking about how to create atmospheric particles in Adobe After Effects without the use of plugins. So right here I have a composition where I created some background clouds right here, atmospheric smoke. I actually did a tutorial on that. I will put a card on this video so you can go and check it out. Also a link in the description. And then basically I added a vignette right here and just uh, a lit from our website right here. A link will be in the description if you want to go and check that out. All right, so now what we want to do is add some particles in there to give it that feeling that it's more dramatic and that there's more going on. It just adds up on the final product if you have a lot of things going on. It's all in the details. And for example, right here we have moving smoke in the background, but adding these particles in there is really going to top it off. So I'm going to right click and create a new solid layer right here. I'll rename this particles and click OK. So now what I want to do is go over here and go to my effects and presets. In my effects and presets, I want to search for CC Particle World, which should come with After Effects itself. So it's no plugin, it's no external plugin. Um, you can create particles with this within After Effects. So I'll apply this to my solid layer right here, and this is what you'll see. So now what we want to do is go over here and open the grid and guides. Uh, so let's open that up and uncheck the grid right here because it's actually distracting our view. And then immediately what I like to do is go into the particle tab and just change the align to a faded sphere. I'm also going to set the color right away. So I'm going to click over here on the yellow. I'm going to make this a nice like bright orange kind of color, some kind of dust color um, in my mind. This is going to get it like uh, close to what I want. So and there we go. We have some dust colors right here. And then for the birth size, I want to create uh, like 0 0.07. And then for the depth, I want to change this to 0 0.01. So very small. So now we have very smart particles uh, just like this. What I want to do then is go over here to the X and just make it a lot wider like so. And there we go. And if we're going back up here to our producer, we actually want to increase the radius for the Z as well. Maybe not too much, so let's set it to 1. Now I'm going to the center right here, and I'm going to just drag this all the way till the bottom so we can't see our particles anymore. So now if you're going to scrub through your timeline, you're not going to see anything right here. So I'm just going to solo this for now uh, so we can actually only concentrate on our particles right here. I'm also going to uncheck the horizon and the axis box right here. So now we have a plain subtle layer, the particles are gone. So what we want to do is make the particles come up. So we'll open up the physics tab right here. In the physics tab we want to change the gravity. So I'm going to change this to minus 0.01 and this should affect the gravity and we're also going to make sure that they last long enough for us to see and that's the longevity. So that's how long the particles are actually going to stay on the screen before they fade off. So currently this is set to 1. I want to just change this to 5 for example and now we're going to see our particles right here. So now they're coming up, maybe 5 is even too much so let's change it back to 3.5 for example. And there we have our particles. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. Another thing that we want to do is change our animation right here for the physics. Let's change this to a viscose or whatever. Uh, this is spelled so. And there we have our particles. And at the beginning, you won't see your particles in your screen immediately. That's because they're actually starting to give birth to the particles. So what we want to do is slide the solid layer all the way to the left and then just make it a little bit longer. We can actually see that we can make it a little bit longer in the longevity. So let's change it to 3.7, for example. And there we have our particles. All right, so this is great. So now I just want to 
remove a few of these particles because they're too much and this is just overdoing it so keep everything simple try not to add too much depending on your project of course but I like to add just a few particles right here so I'm going to change my birth rate to 0 0.05 this is going to remove a lot of these particles but you can see there is still some movement in the background which is uh, pretty cool and there we have it we can still slide everything over make it longer maybe we can play with the seed of um, our birth right here so what you can do is go over here all the way down and open up the extra and right here you can actually change the random seed and that's going to change the particles on how they get um, well where they are at in space so there we have some particles going over our screen of course you can increase them a little bit more maybe hold control and just drag this to the right like 0.09 and there we have a few particles okay so let's unsolo this layer and in combination with the background you now see that just adding a few of these particles and as you can see there are not many at all but it's just going to give it that extra punch that extra kind of cherry on the cake uh, so yeah that's a pretty cool effect to add some more um, atmosphere in your scene how to make it a little bit more dramatic I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did give this video a like also subscribe to the channel for more and definitely definitely check out our website we have a bunch to offer and you do help to support our channel if you go and grab something from our website so yeah <laughs> apart from that I hope to see you in the next one and goodbye